Now this is a story all about how we took our animal and put him down. And I'd like to take a minute to sit right there. We used some propofol and some ISO air. Animal Health Clinic, born and raised in the prep room is where I spent most of my days clipping, plucking, and acting all cool, and placing catheters inside a vet tech school when a couple of dogs who were still intact started making trouble with their repro track. They got in one little fight, and Robin got scared. She said, you're going to the clinic to get impaired. She whistled for a tech, and when she came near, she said, schedule the spay, and let's make this clear. Tomorrow's gonna be one great day, because now you know we're the queens of GA. I pulled up to the clinic about seven or eight, and I yelled to the tech, yo, homie, get some decks. Mixed it with hydro, then she was sedate. We poked that bitch, because we're the queens of GA. We poked and prodded a catheter in her, then we gave propofol for induction to occur. Be sure to titrate over one or two minutes, put my stethoscope on and said I might as well listen. Apnea, yo, this is bad. We must have gave the propofol much too fast. What happens if we give it way too slow? Excitement, oh no. Here we go. In cats, propofol is not approved because benzoyl alcohol is being used. They're worried about toxicities. Try using Valium and ketamine. Propofol has some side effects, so always do your vital checks and don't forget to monitor heart rate, rest, and blood pressure. Did I forget to mention that they can get some hypotension? Fluid is what the animal needs if BP is critical. Double the speed. Don't take too long because effects wear fast. Five to ten minutes is all they last. They three playing one time to intubate. Of course, we're prepared. We're the queens of game. Now, don't take this as some sarcasm, but cats are prone to laryngeal spasm. Always use the Lido spray and remember to call us the queens of GA. The next step is to connect her to ISO. For high risk patients, she is our hero. Quick recoveries are always great, but don't forget to pre-oxygenate. We always want to saturate the alveoli with the right flow rate because we want to compensate for decreased volume and respiration rate. Once ISO's off, then recovery begins, but don't yet turn off the oxygen. Out of Pamazol reverses the decks, so say goodbye to all the effects. Fully recovered and feeling great, put a cone on and then they're on their way. Everyone knows we rock that spay and that's why we're the queens of GA.